morning. Good morning. I would like to just uh, say I hope I would be nimble enough to finish my uh, speech on time. Uh, life is not a surreal journey. It has to go through ups and downs, highs and lows, which keeps us surprising. My life is also not exception to this phenomenon. So, my dear fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, and my dear friends, I am Gaurav, standing here today uh, to tell you the story about my life full of surprises. I was born on 5th of May, 1982. This is not a surprise. <laughs> uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the scorching heat of summer, and that too in one of the hottest places, weather-wise, that is Nagpur, and in the family of Pimpleekas. I was born to a couple, Mr. Pramod and Mrs. Rajani, as their first child. And from here, my journey to the life has begun. Nobody does remember how they are about their early stages of their life and you could get to know about it from your near and dear ones. So I got to know one fact about me that I stayed away from my parents at the age of two and a half for almost two months. When I am curious that I, I asked my parents, mom and dad, why did you keep me away so long? And the reply was even more surprising. They told me, it's me who want, to, who want to go away with aunt to Pune. And when they wanted to keep me back, I started crying. And had to add agony to my parents, when I returned, I couldn't recognize my mother. <laughs> so, I, was, I couldn't believe this. But I, I, I realized that I was showing the sign of exploring the world outside the cocoon of my parents. Moving ahead, my school life was pretty good. I was one of the chubbiest bloke in my class. Don't look as if I am telling you something like, I can show you my pic. But I never feel offended about it. I used to get little, I am happy that I used to get little extra attention about myself. And I used to bring that mischievous smile on my on my dear friends. So I wonder now I wonder how I used to, I used to carry that mis uh, that innocence in myself, which brings one of the aspect which is not that good into positive perspective. Perspective. Gradually moving on to the high school, I lost that charm charm of being a happy go lucky guy, and I started getting more into serious studies. I still remember, I, I completely disconnected from the playgrounds from during my HSCs and SSCs. And that did give me a good results. I did academically very well and uh, did pursue, uh, and did, uh, uh, I did got chance to pursue my aspirations to go into medical. But life had another twist to offer pre-medical entrance exam. That was a killer blow. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, uh, do well in those exams. But like me, my parents also want me to see me as a doctor. And I know he will do his heart out to see me, uh, see me uh, to get that very coveted medical seat. So I still remember on that medical admission day, my parents drove me from Nagpur to Nasi to just to try luck for that seat. But unfortunately, I only offered paid seat. We were not sure whether to go for it. I had to make a very cautious decision whether I should go for it. Whether I should put my father into that economical burden or whether I should just Turn, take a, uh, whether I should put my career in stake and not go for that seat. I surrender myself and I, I, I enrolled for engineering. But due to this engineer's uh, born ingenuity, I cleared my medical, ex uh, my engineering exams, did pretty well. But still, there are tough, tough times ahead. I 
I became jobless from the uh, after coming from the engineering degree. And it was I I I started getting the taste of the real world. These are the toughest times, and you know the toughest times are the biggest teachers in your life. I realize I it's not uh, I need I I need to learn in a hard way. And I was trying one mistake that I am trying to achieve an ultimate goals in one shot, and I am falling apart. Then. I started figuring those uh, out those problems and started making small goals in my life, like here, joining the Toastmaster Toastmaster Club. I achieving I'm trying to achieve my goal to be a good speaker. So after uh, sorting those problems, I since started achieving those small uh, small goals in my life and getting started uh, testing success in my life. And as I Begin to start success in my life. I studied in my professional life. Similarly, I tried uh, studied my personal life by marrying my wife Richa, who was an MBA by profession. So she managed Miami as an asset pretty well. And life turned into a different perspective when I got um, when my little daughter Sia comes into my life. So this is how uh, I. Uh, I think uh, to every behind every man success there is a woman. I can say behind every success, my my success there are three women: my wife, my mother, and my beautiful daughter Sia. Thank you.